Cute. Look at cute. I want to hear it go. They're not set up right. I just parked them loose. They're way away from the wall. But I made a picture, put it on Instagram forever ago, and I parked them over at this one right here, and I took a picture, and all you seen was the field. Patiently waiting. And so I need to take a picture of it sitting there and before and after. God, I think it's funny. Here's my babies. All their glory. The skag sign's gonna go somewhere here. Uh, again, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is still, still a mystery. I just pulled in to walk behind in here. Do you know this thing started? Is out on that trailer under a tarp for a month. Bump fired. <laughs> I know Kawasaki made the engine, but this thing just keeps. It has to tear down, so I'm expecting to buy a new one of these. Any, you know, it's like who knows how many hours is on this thing. But I have kept it and maintained it perfect, as you can see. And it's a look on my YouTube channel, 2018 model, I think. About 2018 or 27, 20, 20, 2018, because that one over there at the end is a 2019. And then this one's a 2021 right here in the middle. So that thing is still, let's see, 21, 22. Ooh, it's going to be out of warranty. Two years with my awesome green guards. I got my DeWalt seat. I love this stool more than anything. And my Kawasaki. But again, got to go buy some insulation boards put up and then put my Skag sign somewhere. I want it like right here. Put me an up church something right through here. I'm going to do all kinds of stuff. But anyway, this is going to get a duplicate right here. So first time it's in here, let's talk about what I want to talk about real fast because I'm in such a hurry because it's supposed to be like 40 mile an hour winds tomorrow and negative temperatures. Green guard. Yes, I bought this one. I don't know if I've showed it. I've made so many videos about this and I never upload them because I forget. But now I'm on a roll with my videos. I'm making them and I'm just going to slap them up there unedited. I don't care. This is the best thing you'll ever buy for your mower. So good that I bought one for the 52 and I'm getting ready to buy it. Well, when spring comes, one for that. Even though I don't use it that much. Best money I've ever spent. This is the upgraded version compared to this. So the owner of it hooked me up with the upgraded version of this one. This was the last model. Something about, I don't know what, the motor is so freaking big, it was just breaking these little bolts and you just put a new bolt, wasn't a big deal, but now it don't do that. Cause it, it gives, it, it allows it to give. So no more, I love them, I love them. This one I didn't bend on purpose. Notice it's straight. This thing is a 38 and a half horse and I was just afraid that it too much power. So what it does is, and now I love it. When I close this thing, it completely blocks stuff from going in like a sidewalk or a paved driveway. And it goes out the back like this. It goes, whoom, goose eggs. And then it don't clump hardly. So my little ideal is ingenious because I don't use mulching blades to help and aid in that I should, but I don't. So by golly y'all, and this one is a 52 with this tiny little 23 and a half useless engine on this thing. And what I did was I bent it. So it is in shape with the deck. I would show you both of them operates right here. See, you can go to any, any side, how much you want, if you want it up out of the way. I run mine to the front so that way when you're standing on them, and y'all know this is several years old. It's still going strong. Let me get up on here. So when you're mowing, you're pushing, watch this. I'm pushing forward, I'm mowing. Uh-oh, sidewalk, watch. If I'm going forward and this one, I have this forward. I just simply reach my thumb. See, look at that. This thing has been open and closed. I bet you who knows how many thousands of times. It's brilliant. I love this. Y'all need to buy them. This is not a paid video. 
I'm not supposed to make this video. I was not asked to make this video. The new kit just had, the old one had a fuse. Right there it is. This is for the green guard. Uh, green guard. So it was easy in that. I mean, no, this, yeah, this is the old one. I gotta change everything in these things. Now that I got a garage, I can. Uh, and this one is the new one. I just put this on 2022. I don't know if I ever showed you. Now it's capacitor and everything. And there's where the fuse goes. So he's upgraded everything on this thing. I mean, it's nice. And then I just let it, I take the crap out of it. Let it hang there. No problems. I mean, you can see the fuse, but it's sealed to where water ain't gonna get in it. And that's what I did. And then I ran them both in the same spot, these little green guys. So that has saved me hours, like blowing off sidewalks and stuff. I don't use it, it's not a mulching kit. It's a block, shoot blocker. If you put uh, mulching blades, it will chop it up a lot better. I like on the fence. Do I keep this thing? Do I go ahead and pay four grand and buy the big block with the new clutch? I think you have to use that new clutch. So that's probably 600 on top of the four or 5,000. Or do you just trade it in as is? They ain't getting my green guard. That, that's coming off. That's like four or five, five, four or five hundred dollars. That's mine. And do I trade this thing in for one of these? Because I'm buying this regardless. If I just keep this, I'm still buying another one of these. And I'll probably buy another one of these. That's overkill, but this is my income maker now. This gets everything done. This does the few hills that I can't do. But now there's so few of them. Because, uh, you know, some of them I'm getting other people to mow for me that I needed this. So now I only need it a couple yards now. And well, it comes in handy if it's wet ground, you know, a little bit of moisture, it's lighter. You know, I love this thing. It ain't going nowhere. I will run it to death. But I am I love this 52. I hate the engine. It's just no power. It's just no freaking power. Yes, it'll mow manicured lawns every week. Yes, yes. It does good, but you can't go more than a half a mile an hour. Or <clears throat> I've got too much stuff to do to go a half a mile an hour. So I put this berth on here, this 38 and a half fuel injected Kawasaki on there with a 61. Now I'm even doing my little tiny properties with it. And it takes like four or five swats. Nobody's complaining because it stripes them up. So the 52 is good for the little gates. So do I keep it? Do I trade it or sell it straight out? I have drove myself. Do you see how good a condition it is? It's got your normal skag paint off the deck. And then I've got some little scratches. I could put new stickers on it. And then it's got the paint off around the corner, just like every skag does. But other than that, look in here how mint. I have took care of this mower. The stickers are on. I mean, it's nice. It's a nice mower. I don't know how much it'd be. I want to push seven because the new ones are over 10. Six, seven grand, maybe. It's worth that. I don't care what anybody says. I just wouldn't sell it if it wasn't because the engine, a new engine's almost that much. And this engine is perfect. So the tires need replaced eventually. So other than that, because I've used this, I used to use this and that other skag more than anything. And then I started using this and now I'm wearing this one out because I parked this one. I, I used this one two or three times this year. Now this one's about got as many hours. So I made up my mind, Big Bertha, I'm buying another one. I thought about a Turf Tiger 261 or something, but they hurt my back set and I can't stand to set. I might maybe because I do need to sit more. Doctor says I stand too much. I've got veins to show it. And he said, I'm way too young to do that. But he says, you're on your feet all the time. H. I said, yep. Even in the house, I walk all, I'm always busy. Look at me a little, and I don't even drink energy drinks or nothing. I'm just, that's just me. I'm high strung, so to speak. So green guard, green guard, green guard, green guard, green guard, green guard. This is not a sponsored ad. The guy's very nice. 
he hooked me up with the upgrade kit for that i i was going to buy it and he said no he helped the brother out because i've talked to him plenty of times and then again he don't even know i bought that one i don't think but i did by golly i didn't tell him i just bought it and i want another one bad for this one and then my new 61 whenever i get it i don't need it today i don't need it in the sp mm. Mm. i don't know when i need it i don't really need it but i'm scared i'm getting i'm getting just too many properties so this thing gets so many hours on these big fields y'all see me mow and then the little houses and i want to know that if i break this thing down something all i gotta do is step on its identical twins because this will not do my properties in the time i do it it would take me an extra three days probably i'm not kidding this thing pounds grass like it ain't even under there this one bogs and bogs and bogs and bogs this never bogs you all see me i cut stuff taller as my shoulder and thicker than me and y'all seen i got a video i'll re-upload it if i have to not many people even noticed it this thing is the 18 and a half horse and just drags me behind it and will cut oh my gosh that open deck hero deck is awesome velocity cuts better but this one cuts better than most other brands that i've ever seen so that's why i'm sticking with this brand plus it's easier I love cocktails and chicken grease. Tractor, Boone's Creeks. Hmm. They act like they don't want to help me every time I go in there. I mean, they're nice, but I've never felt like Cox will make you feel like, you know, you're a customer and they appreciate you. And you just need that magic. Boone's Creek, it's probably their employees' fault, so I don't want to be too, you know, critical of them. I shouldn't even mention their name. I'm not paid or nothing. But get a green guard. I don't care what brand you think you need. There's nothing like pushing that button. You can do it so fast while you're mowing. Just over and over and over and over. And it'll go to any angle you want it. It's infinity. It ain't like just half and down. It's infinity from the whole motion. Tap it a little bit, it'll barely move. Tap it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So maybe if it's thick grass and you don't want to throw it in the road you just put it almost down but not all the way and just let it pile you know what i mean then turn around and blow it off i gotta finish cleaning out my building i've got to go storm's coming look at them way down there hello they're like mo they all cranked right up they all cranked right up i don't know how many i can fit in here but i'm getting another that's my goal. Well, it ain't a goal because I can achieve it right now. I just don't know when I want to buy it. Because I don't think I'd get a Turf Tiger 2 and I don't want to cheat it too, but I kind of want to cheat it too because it's lighter. Turf Tiger 2, I don't see why y'all guys, I guess you, that does long services. I do long distance. Turf Tiger 2 weighs a ton. This thing right here already, I think the one on the right's what, 14, 12 to 1400 pounds. And those 61s, like 15, 6. And I'm pulling that. And you know how much gas that takes? Because the Turf Tiger 2 ain't it almost a freaking ton. So that costs money to pull. Wear and tear on your transmission. Wear and tear on your engine driving that long a distance up and down these mountains here. So I'm saving weight and money. But if I buy... I like Turf Tiger. I just wish they'd less fatten them up. I like to have a version of less fat less weight you know what i mean i guess i could get a cheetah too but i want pumping wheel motors i don't like the transaxles really because that walk behind's got it and it's all it's not as variable to me it's it's more clunky pumping wheel motors smooth anyway buy a green guard it's almost christmas like actually three days get a green guard for this spring you will thank me seriously not a sponsored ad he didn't ask me to do this i'm just doing this because i want to when i find something that i really really like and it's it's still working that thing's two or three years old and you know how much it's mowed my gosh and it still works perfect so i stand behind that and buy my trimmer line exterminator trimmer line brand i'll leave the link in the bottom you'll see my names on the trimmer line it's the best trimmer line on the planet 
I'm not paid to say that either. I'll probably make a quarter off of you. I'm just that honest. It's like a, it's not even a, I don't know what it is, a row. So I'm not making no money. They're not making much. This stuff's expensive nowadays, and they got it on sale, I think, for 30 some dollars. So come spring, I think I'm going to just go buy, I buy them off of them, like, you know, 50 to 100 rows or something. And then I'm going to sell it myself around and online and stuff because I really believe in it, and it just sounds like something fun to do. Anyway, I got stuff to do. Peace.